Uh, hello guys, welcome to TV Tutorials. My name is Chirufato. So today we're gonna learn about kinematics and for how to do the calculation in relative motion. We are going to take our example from a question paper, April 2023. The question 2.1 reads as follows. Two ships leave Cape Town harbor simultaneously. Ship A sails at a velocity of 125 kilometers per hour in the direction of northwest, and ship B sails at a velocity of 92 kilometers per hour in the direction of south, 25 degrees west. So from this information, we're gonna draw our sketch, our vector diagram from a Cartesian plane. I'm just going to create a small Cartesian plane so we can have the directions. This is our north, east, south, and then west. We are given the velocity of the first boat as 125 kilometers per hour at 45 degrees since it is northwest. And the other boat, it is in 25 degrees south. 92 kilometers per hour west then the question says calculate the magnitude and direction of the velocity of boat, boat a related to boat b velocity of a related to b we know we must find Velocity of A related to B, ground X, and also find velocity of A related to velocity of A related to B, ground Y. So we're gonna use our formula to calculate velocity of A related to B, ground. Round x it is velocity of a related to b as velocity of a related to ground x plus velocity of a related to plus sorry plus velocity of ground x related to b so we know this is the opposite motion related of the of the horizontal component of the of the second boat so we're gonna put our formula in this way a related to ground x minus velocity of b related to ground x so now we have we have our velocity and we also have this one in our cartesian plane so we're gonna extract it. This one, when we do its horizontal components, it's gonna be negative 125 kilometers per hour multiplied by cos 45 minus this one. We do its horizontal component, it comes this side and it's gonna be a negative 92 kilometers per hour multiplied by cos 65. So in this way, we punch it into our calculator. Let me punch it. And then I get my answer as negative 49,507 kilometers per hour. So don't mind the negative. It just shows us what this velocity it's going west at 49.507 kilometers per hour west and we're going to do the same thing but now we're calculating when they are related to ground y so velocity of a related to b ground y it is equals to velocity of A 
related to ground y plus velocity of ground y related to b velocity of a related to ground y minus velocity of b related to ground y so we're doing the same thing but this time we're taking a vertical component so we know for the the first boat when we were taking it to the vertical component will become a positive we're going to have a 125 125 sine 45 degrees minus this one when we're doing its horizontal component it becomes a negative so we're going to put it as a negative 92 sine 45 then we punch this to our calculator we find our answer as 171.67 six eight kilometers per hour so since it is positive it means it's in the direction of north and then we find now we are going to use the two values to calculate the velocity of a related to b and then velocity of a related to b we are going to use our pythagoras square root of Velocity of A related to B, ground X squared plus velocity of A related to B, ground Y squared. Then we punch our, we put our values 49.507 squared plus, this will be negative, plus 171.768 squared. Then we punch our calculator. And we're going to get our answer as 178.731 kilometers per hour. And then for the direction, we can use any of our trigonometric functions to find the direction since we're going to have a, our new triangle, which is going to be like this. This is where we calculated, this is where we calculated our resultant, which is a velocity of A related to B. Then from here, we have our Y side and our X side. So we can use tan, second function of tan, theta equals to tan to the second function. And then I know we're my y it's this one so where the where i was supposed to substitute y from the formula y over x then i will use tan negative one and then i'll put my values one seven one point seven six eight divided by for my x value I'm going to put 49.507. Then I punch my calculator. I find my direction in a theta form. And in an angular form, it's going to be 73,921 degrees. So my magnitude and direction for, for the velocity of A related to B Velocity of A related to B is going to be 178.731. This is the magnitude and the direction is west 73.921 and then north. So, meaning I will have my resultant somewhere here.
so this is how you find the magnitude and direction when they say you calculate a certain object related to another object